Today, I'm going to show you how to turn yourself into a prompt engineering machine. And this can be used for anything. Anything! It literally can do it all for anything. And today, I'm going to give you two variations of this masterpiece of a prompt. Now, this prompt is two things in one. It's a prompt engineer and a prompt generator. <laughs> What's a prompt generator, Eric? A prompt generator is a prompt that generates prompts. Copy and paste a prompt generator into a tool like ChatGPT and then just simply provide your need. For example, if you're trying to create content, blog posts, AI images, type that. And boom, tons of prompts. The best part is, is that once you get the prompts you need, answer some of those follow-up questions, and then you're going to get even better 10x meta prompts. Okay, so I have two variations for you. Let's go ahead and now start with the first one. And now here is the first one. It's going to be very simple, but it's going to be very detailed. We're first going to go ahead and describe the role. We're basically going to say that, listen, you're a prompt architect. You're going to be a masterful prompt elite engineer, and your role is to create the most effective context aware prompts for LLMs, okay? So just basically copy and paste this whole entire thing just like this. And that's exactly what I'll do. So let me head over here into my prompt generators database. And this one is gonna be considered a meta prompt because meta prompts are prompts that can create prompts for basically any category imaginable. I have V1 and V2 right here back to back. Let's go ahead and open this up and copy the whole entire thing just like this. And as a quick reminder, these prompts I share in any of my videos are always available 100% free via the links in the description. Oh, hey, my AI friends. The Everything Bundle now has over 10,000 prompts and counting. Want it? Just click the links in the description. All right, so now this whole entire thing copied, let's go head over into ChatGPT. Now there's one thing that is very important to keep in mind. I've tried these prompts with a lot of different LLMs. You're gonna get all different results based on what model that you use. So as you can see, I'm on ChatGPT, but over here in Gemini, when I use this prompt, as I scroll down, you can see the large level of information I'm gonna get. It's gonna be very impressive. And now over here in Claude, same exact thing. And all you have to do is specifically state your need right here. I want a prompt that creates exceptional AI videos for Google VO3, but we're gonna go ahead and do this in real time. Now, if that prompt copied, all you have to do is hit that send button and let ChatGPT guide you in what your next steps should be. And instantly, it's gonna give us some feedback. But one thing I do like about this, you may not get these results because over time, ChatGPT gets trained into what you like. And so since ChatGPT knows I love these meta prompt templates or generators that are be reusable to use over and over again, you could see it instantly just goes and gives me a meta prompt template. Now, this isn't specifically what I'm wanting, but it's going to be very helpful in case this happens to you. But check this out. You can bypass all this. And now down here at the bottom, just state specifically what kind of a prompt that you want. Let's go ahead and say this at the bottom. This is the sort of thing I would highly recommend and specifically using these keywords. Let's first start with getting insanely realistic AI images. But then when I show you the second version of this prompt for that one, we're going to change things up and not do visuals. We're going to do something more for content creation, specifically generating YouTube titles or social media posts. But I have people who use them for storytelling and anything you want, even when it comes to deep writing. Now, what I said right down here below isn't really necessary to get what you're looking for, but you can just say something simple like AI image prompts. That's gonna do a good job, but here's the thing. Now that we're progressing, you could say something that simple, but I would always highly recommend utilizing this very last sentence. Include meta tokens to achieve high levels of realism. If it's the last thing you do, learn tricks and many tips, we're an AI bliss. Hit that like button. So incredibly realistic AI image prompts to use in Put in your favorite tools. Mine are gonna be Free Pick and Mid Journey and Leonardo AI. So I'll go ahead and add that as well. Okay, so I have my three tools. And then again, let's get those hidden meta tokens. When you utilize those specific tokens, you're gonna get some incredible levels of realism. So then right away, look at this. It's gonna go ahead and it's gonna give me an awesome template I could use right here, included with the meta tokens. And now as we scroll down, here we have it. Now, this is a template, but look, it's gonna give us a prompt generator. So what we can do is gonna be one of two things. Now, remember, like I said, answer the question. Look at this down here below. If you'd like, 
I can now generate 10 fresh prompts from that structure immediately or help you convert this into a dynamic JSON schema for automation. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. Now, it might give you this right away. When you first paste this prompt in, it may just go ahead and generate the prompts or it may provide you with a same template or a generator like this one just showed me. Either way, answer the follow-up question and now let's just go ahead and say yes, 10 fresh prompts. Just like that, it's gonna give us 10 with those hidden tokens. But before we go ahead and check these out, let's go ahead and copy this whole entire meta prompt template right here. And just out of curiosity, let's open up a new chat. And I like to test out just exactly what that prompt will do. So there's the new one that ChatGPT just gave us. Now look at this down here below with that prompt generator it just gave me. Now this one instantly creates 10 ultra realistic AI image prompts. And from the looks of it, look at this. I am getting those amazing valuable tokens. There are going to be the cameras and we're going to get all of those hidden little tags right here. So boom, we get 10 amazing ones right there. Let's go back to the original chat. Remember, that's the prompt that just gave us. In fact, and that's where I pasted it in on this other chat. As I scroll down now and I said 10 fresh prompts, look at this. 10 more fresh prompts, 20 instant amazing prompts for AI images. So I'll go ahead and generate these images in Free Pick and in Mid Journey and show you a few right now. Hit that like button and I may give you a kiss and hit that subscribe cause I'm a prompts queen, queen know what I mean, it's the mule dream team. Wow, now I must say those were pretty impressive. Okay, but now moving on, let's check out version two of this prompt. It's gonna be a very similar concept, but it operates just a little bit differently. Okay, so now let's go back over here, open this up and copy this whole entire thing in. And now for this one, let's try out a different LLM. I'm gonna go ahead and paste this in both Gemini and Grok, okay? So here is the first one in Gemini, just like that. And now I'm gonna come into Grok and do the same thing. The prompt architect, crafting superior LLM interactions. Okay, it's just thinking out loud. We're gonna go all the way down to the bottom. But again, if you are more on the beginner level, I would highly recommend reading these protocols in practice right here. It's gonna give you some very good tips. And now here we go, user-centric design. Again, all we have to do down here at the bottom is just simply say exactly what you're looking for. So at the bottom, all I'll say is a YouTube title creator based on my video's topic create exceptional YouTube titles that are eye-catching, no more than 65 characters. Okay, I'll go ahead and submit this. It should ask me what my topic is. And now, yeah, here it is. Please tell me what your video was about. And now it will go ahead and do that. And I'll say what this video is down here at the bottom. The only prompt you need to become a prompt engineer. Now with that, let's go ahead and see what we get right away. Look at this. Irresistible YouTube title options, 65 characters max. Okay, now look at this right down here below. Now, if I don't like any of these, I'm gonna go ahead and say, give me 10 more. I want to have as many options as possible. Now watch this. After I find one out of the 10 I like, I am then going to go ahead and make these even better. Let's go ahead and copy this one right here. Now paste this in down here at the bottom. So I'll paste the title and now I'll put a dash and I'll say, give me thumbnail ideas for this. And then it's gonna go ahead and give me multiple ideas with the text overlays, visuals, etc. Okay, very good. Now let's go ahead and open up a brand new chat. We're gonna do something very quickly that's gonna blow your mind as well. Now this time, with the same exact prompt in, I'm then gonna say down here at the bottom, amazingly realistic cinematic AI videos created in Google VO3. Dash, then I'll say at the very end, follow the best prompt adherence guidelines for cinematic styles. And then again, I'll also say, add any tokens to achieve this. Okay, there we go. Now let's see what we can get. Cause then what we're gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and take the AI video prompt it gives me and I'll actually generate it in real time in a brand new Gemini chat since VO3 is gonna actually be in there. But again, look at this, all the information we get, these are gonna be some helpful tips you can use going forward. Now down here at the very bottom, now I get a test run example prompt right here. And then down here below, we're gonna get more other things. And now down here below, even more help helpful information, okay? So if I wanted a specific video prompt, I could say do it for this subject, POV drone shot flying over Hawaii, and now it's gonna give me that prompt 
specifically to use in VO3. So it thinks out loud, and then down here at the bottom, it's gonna give me this meta prompt template. But let's go back up and just go ahead and try the one it just gave us. So with that said, let's come in here and copy the whole entire prompt just like that. Copy, and now with the new chat opened up, I'm gonna go ahead and select a video, and now paste in this prompt that we just got. Let's see what this can come up with. Okay, now let's come back over here into Claude, and I'm gonna go ahead and leave Sonnet on, and now let's go ahead and paste in this prompt again. Again, this is gonna be version two, and now this time, let's get something for creating some creative stories. Okay, it's gonna go ahead and think out loud and go to work. Let's go ahead and type in our need down here below. And I'll say a creative action-packed drama story about a woman lost in a dystopian world. Just like that, look at this amazingness we're gonna get. We're gonna get the story prompt architecture right here, the core objective, the prompt template. Look at this. This is where we're gonna take this whole prompt template we get, and anything it provides us, we're gonna copy and paste it in a brand new chat. So it's basically writing a screenplay right here and giving us everything that we could possibly need to really craft an amazing story. And now down here at the bottom, this prompt architecture provides clear direction while allowing for creative freedom. Okay, so you can see this is a long prompt, so check this out. Let's copy the whole entire thing just like this, okay? All the way down into where it says execution instruction. Copy this, brand new chat, paste the whole entire thing in, watch this magic happen. It's gonna go ahead and draft the artifact, and now look at this, it opens up on the right-hand side, Amazing. There's my full story, The Salt Gardens. This is incredible, the way it's writing, and it's gonna give me everything I could possibly want and need. Let's go back over to Gemini very quickly and see how our video turned out. This is gonna be, remember, that drone shot in Hawaii. Let's see how this turned out. That's amazing. That looks very, very good. Everything is perfect. And now last but not least, I'll also go ahead and do the same exact thing with the actual prompt Gemini gave me. Okay, now over here in this channel again, now let's try this one of a more futuristic genre. And this one also turned out very well. But let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And remember, these prompts can be found via the links in my description. Try them out, let me know how they worked out for you. And remember, if you like this video, please remember to hit that subscribe button. Until then, I'll see you next time. Hit that subscribe, cause I'm a prompt star. Come and get in my car, your dreams are never far. Subscribe to the Mules, channel is so cool. If it's the last thing you do, subscribe to Metrics Mule. Yes, I got the tips, tons of prompts and